Hi, my name is Kevin Dahm with Save the Oceans. I'm here at an oil spill in a residential neighborhood in Vancouver, British Columbia. See, most people when they think about oil spills, they think about big tanker spills and oil platforms. They don't really realize that the biggest source of water pollution in the world is oil from drips and drops. Every year, a hundred Valdez spills approximately disappears from small oil spills, just like you're seeing running down this residential stream, all from a hydraulic fluid leak and it all goes down this drain which leads right to a stream. Okay, so what we're going to do to clean up the spill today, it's a hydraulic fluid that dropped down, we're going to use three core products. The first product we're going to use is our oil lift oil remover. This is the first industrial cleaner that was certified by the government's EcoLogo program. The, the idea behind this product is it doesn't actually attack the oil. What it does is it just penetrates it and debonds it from the surface so we can get 99% of the oil in a floating state. And then we need to be able to capture the material. So the second product we're going to use, and this is for dry oil cleanup, when there's not a big water, you know, water floating, this is our flubber dust product. And this is different polar charged rock. What makes this product really interesting is it actually gets into the pores, and it allows you to grab all the oil, and then you pick it up and you heat the material, which splits the oil molecule, and you reuse it all over again. So you've ended the waste stream. Now, in case we run into a wet situation in a drain, we've got a third product here, and this is really important. This is a, called a super absorbent polymer. This is about a six pound boom, and this material, when it's exposed to water and oil, just grabs the oil, and the water separates, and it'll actually inflate up to about 30 pounds of oil. So it's the equivalent of about 20 normal oil cleanup booms that are made of polypropylene. So that's why you'd replace it. So all three products combined together allow you to quickly, effectively, and inexpensively clean up any oil pollution and end the waste stream and stop the oil getting into our lakes, rivers, and streams. So next we're going to go and do the job. Okay, so what we're going to do first before we start applying the cleaner down, we're going to put our super absorbent boom down. That's just in case we get some rainfall and oil starts moving, we can capture it and nothing gets down the drain. So now we're going to go over and start spraying. So what we're doing is we're going to put a pre-diluted oil lift down on the surface just to start migrating and then we're going to put a stronger and we're going to scrub it. We're going to let it sit for half an hour and then we're going to absorb it all with the flubber dust and uh, then we'll get about 99% of all the oil up. You can see the oil migrating out there. Uh, one, one of the interesting aspects about using oil lift when you're cleaning up around something like this, you see the oil from the hydraulic fluid got into the plant. Well, at Trinity Western University, they did a study where they polluted plants and then they treated with them oil lift and they actually grew more than the unpolluted plants. So this helps us actually remediate on a roadside where you get spills from gas stations and so on or from car accidents. So it's a, it's a really important thing to know that you're not harming the biology of what's surrounding. So. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've let the oil lift sit for about half an hour to pull up the oil out of the asphalt. So we're going to use our flubber dust product to coagulate all of the material and then we will, we will collect it all and we'll heat it and it'll actually split the oil molecule and so we can reuse it again and we've ended the pollution waste stream. So here we go. Look really close right here. You see how all the, the moisture is wicking up? Well, that's a strong and ne negative electrical charge, and it draws all the oil out of the surface. So the neat part is, as you're using it, the more you use, the faster it goes, and the more you recover. So you want to use more to actually use less. It's kind of neat. Amazing. 
I'm really glad we got it before the rain. Alright, I'm here a couple days later after we cleaned up the spill. You can see where the oil was before. You look real close. All you can see is nice clean water running down. We got it all. This is beautiful. It's all the way down to the storm drain there. And you can see on the street, you can see no oil stains. Everything is all cleaned up. We look down on the property here. You can see all the grass is all recovering. And it's nice clean water. So we got a good job.